hey guys it's me queen coming back at you with another video today i'm going to show you how i flat iron my transitioning hair i'm currently 19 months post relaxer so right now um, i finger detangled my hair i did do a pre-poo yesterday where i just basically added my lavender shea butter I put my hair in four sections and just made sure I moisturized my hair from roots to tip. And here's the um, jar of the lavender shea butter that I normally use. Then after um, that, I just put basically put in a ponytail until my wash day. Um, starting off my wash, I will use the apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar, I normally just put in an applicator bottle and wash my hair one time. And then I move, move along shampooing my hair with the natural style by fubu gentle shampoo uh, this shampoo has nine um complex oils so it keeps my hair moisturized through the wash process and of course keeping the moisture in for my flat iron this gives it wonderful shine when i do flat iron my iron my hair and it smells absolutely amazing so jumping right in i'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and i'm going to come back with the other part of the video Whew. okay so I'm back my hair is freshly washed just gonna go in and show you here how moisturized it is you can see the shine you can see it's nice and clean and that moisture is still locked in there so between me putting in the shea butter and um, my process of how I wash it it'll keep it nice soft and shiny when I do flat iron my hair so again I am currently 19 months post relaxer um, as you can see, I have a lot of new growth. I'm, I'm pretty much almost natural. I have about four more inches, I believe, um, of permed hair that needs to be chopped. So big chop will be coming soon. So I will be deep conditioning my hair first with the Moroccan oil deep conditioning mask. I'll put that in my hair for a couple of hours and just let it sit under a plastic cap. And then once I rinse that out, I am going to apply my chi now with the chi this is going to be my chi infra treatment um this is a thermal protective treatment for your hair i like to use that when i'm going to fly on my hair so i'll put this in after i rinse out my deep conditioning mask and just leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes once i do that i'll add the chi this is the straight guard it helps to smooth um your hair so it's like a smoothing cream that I'll add to four sections maybe it's just a quarter full to four sections of my hair and that's going to be basically the leave-in that I'm going to use for my hair so now I'm just going to go ahead and section my hair so that I can go ahead and apply my Moroccan oil mask and again I'm going to apply my deep conditioning mask to all four sections of my hair from roots to tip I don't really put that much in it um, because I, I know that I have a lot of moisture in my hair already and I don't want my hair to be weighed down when I flat iron it. So I just apply enough to each section to evenly distribute throughout my hair strands. I normally heat my deep condition for about 30 seconds in the microwave. My hair um, is low porosity so it takes to the heat better when I do warm my conditioners. So I just go in and I just evenly from root to tip apply that conditioner into my hair and the smell just mesmerizes me sometimes. I will just continuously rub my hand through my hair. It's just so silky soft and it smells wonderful. So um, as you can see the different texture of my hair, I want to apply the conditioner in my hair. You can see um, my texture coming in there. Um, when I do is I twist it once I finish each section and then I just pin it up into like a little knot and that's how I actually leave it under the shower cap and I'm not going to sit under the dryer I'm just going to use my own body heat do some things around the house for about two hours um, just let it um, really get a good deep condition um, once I rinse out my deep condition I will then go in with the Chi Infra treatment this is a thermal protective treatment that's really good for when you're applying any type of heat to your hair. So I'll put that in um, the same way I'm doing this Moroccan treatment um, in four sections and I'll leave that on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, once I rinse that out, 
I'll apply the Chi Straight Guard. It's a smoothing, it's a smoothing styling cream. Now I just do a dime size of this to each section because again, I don't like to have anything in my hair when I do flat iron it. So I put very lit little as my leave-in conditioner slash um, um, smoothing cream, you know, protectant. Um, and I'll put that in my hair. And the Chi products, all of the products to me smell really good. Um, um, if you haven't tried it, um, it is a great line. Um, it does help with um, retaining a lot of moisture in your hair. Um, so moving along, I'm just doing the same thing here. But I did want to show you on this side of my head, it's my, my knotty side. It's the side that's just thick. This side is thicker than the other side as you can see it has a lot of shrinkage so of course this side I'll probably put a little bit more of the conditioner in um, just that so that um, all the hair strands you know evenly gets the conditioner but it is my thick side for some reason um, so I know which side of my hair I'll be wearing most of my, my hairstyles on <laughs> um, so again I'm just rubbing my hands softly through my hair making sure all the strands are coated and then once I do that, I will twist that section as well. But as, as you can see on this side, the texture is completely different than the other side. But I'm just happy with it being natural, getting the chemical out of my hair completely. Um, these straight strands just drive me crazy sometimes. But Big Chop will be coming soon, very soon. Hopefully in December, I'm going to do a two-year um, Big Chop um, if I don't if it doesn't drive me crazy where I just cut it off before then but it will be in a video for you guys um, if I do um, do it any sooner but with the new texture now it's you you just get to the point where you're just ready to to cut the ends and be just a hundred percent natural it's just easier to maintain with the one texture at this point you kind of know what products you use you kind of have your routine and you're just ready to get to that finish line um, so here again, I'm being very generous with my edges because I know that my edges are not the best And I'm just going to apply it here. So once I apply this um, I'll, Like I said, I will just do use my body hit under a plastic cap for two hours two to three hours And then I'll go in with that in for treatment from the she for about 15 20 minutes I'll rinse that out and then I will add the straight guard um, to the four sections with just a dime size very small amount to the four sections and then once I do that I'll come back and show you the next step I do after I've applied all my conditioners and deep conditioners and etc Okay, so I've rinsed out my deep conditioner, and now I'm going to add in the Afro G Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer. And I'm going to also add in the Tresemme Thermal Creations. This is the Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. And this is what basically does the job for me. The blow dryer that I normally use is the Red by Kiss. This is a handless blow dryer, which I absolutely love. Um, I got this by uh, a YouTuber, You Love Megs, when I was um, relaxed, and I've always used it. And then I'll be flat ironed with my FHI heat. Um, this um, flat iron is basically the flat iron for me it goes up to 450 degrees um what i like about it is if it starts getting too hot it will decrease the um temperature so moving right along i'm spraying in now the green tea restructurizer i'll just put this in my hair i'll basically i saturate it especially when i'm going to fly iron i add that in and then i'll just spray the tresemme thermal creations heat tamer on top of that before i blow dry each section so i'll go ahead and do this um step and then i'll be back okay so i'm back my hair is fully blow dried and i'm ready for my next step so with my next step i will be applying the um silk elements a mega silk flat ironing guard I do like to put this on my hair as my last point of um, protection as far as for heat any type of heat damage um, transitioning you have to just kind of figure out what works for your hair when you do flat iron your hair um, you will see steam 
it will seem as if my flat iron is the, just the hottest thing on earth but I do just flat iron my hair on 350 again like I stated the FHI flat iron it normally if it seems to be getting too hot it will decrease in temperature so I'm never really worried about too much heat so I'll just put it on 350 and I'll flat iron my hair normally in the back I'll do bigger sections and then in the front I'll do smaller sections I'm not very good at, at doing the chase method so I do not use a chase method but just please keep in mind as you watch the video that if you see steam don't worry my hair is not on fire it's not going to be damaged it's just steam coming from the silk elements um, heat protector that I'm going to be spraying on top of it before I flat iron um, so again I'm not going to um, video the entire um, head while I'm flat ironing and I'm not really going to do too much talking just a little bit in between so let's get started um, here is the silk element mega silk heat protectant that I'm going to be spraying on my hair and this is the only thing that I'm going to have on my hair the entire time I flat iron my hair so once I'm done flat ironing my hair I'll usually wear my hair straight for about two weeks and I do not put anything on it until it's my wash day
So here's the final result. My hair is fully straightened. It looks like I have a relaxer. And again, this is from all the products that I put in my hair prior to flat ironing my hair, making sure that it is nicely moisturized so there will not be any breakage or heat damage. Um, as you can see, it's silky, it's shiny, it's flowy. It has a nice bounce to it. It's not weighed down. And this is pretty much how I flat iron my hair the two times a year that I do flat iron my hair. So if you do like how I flat iron my hair, please subscribe, thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I will be having a giveaway of the FHI flat iron that I do have. I actually have a few. So I'll be giving away a brand new one once I hit my 100 subscribers point. Again, um, at the end of the video, I'll have a length check. And thanks again for watching.